still haven't brushed my hair. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my story yesterday. I was like, yeah, I haven't brushed my hair in three days. Still haven't. And it's still cute, okay? But yeah, I just realized that and I just like came to an epiphany and I think it's maybe like the Aries in me, but I literally like I'ma say like a good like ninety percent of my accomplishments are because I started something and just decided not to quit. Like most of the my accomplish my accomplishments I did not intend to actually start. I kinda just like started it and was like, F that, I ain't no nut. <laughs> I ain't no nut. We gonna finish this, you know, like and like how like how do you unintentionally start a goal and then be like you know what but we gonna finish it anyway and i would curve or like maneuver or figure out a different lane within the same situation but quitting was just never an option for me and in a lot of my accomplishments like for instance when i went to temple i started out as pre-med and then a friend of mine had a baby because I wanted to be an obstetrician. And I realized that doctors weren't as hands-on in the labor process that I wanted to be, right? So I said, you know what? I think I want to be a midwife because I also don't see myself being broke for 10 years like most doctors. So I was like, oh, you know what? I think I want to switch to be a midwife. So I told my advisor. My advisor was a fine as young black woman from London who was a Yale graduate, okay? Um, and she switched my major over to Spanish and she was like, okay, well, you have like all these credits in Spanish. She was like, just finish, get your degree in Spanish. And then I'm going to enroll you in temp in Drexel's accelerated program for nursing. So at that point I had all my prereqs because I was pre-med. So of course, like most of the prereqs for nursing school are the same for, um, like what the, the major I was in, which was pre-med. So I had all my prereqs. I graduated with a degree in Spanish in three years, other than the typical four years for a bachelor's, which was hard as hell. So don't let nobody fool you getting a degree in a different language. I was writing 10 page papers in Spanish by the time I graduated and our classes were fully in Spanish. You did not speak English at all to the professors and it would literally stop you and not even speak back to you um amazing experience but yeah it was tough um and no i'm not fluent anymore i completely lost it i'm really sad about that so give me a man that has some spanish in him so i could just like get it back or at least some spanish friends like damn all my spanish friends want to speak to me in english like you drawing anyway and then i went to drexel for drexel's accelerated program for 11 months so i got two degrees in four years and it's just an example because i had you know, I didn't really have intentions on going to a, an accelerated program, one of the hardest programs in the country with one of the highest, you know, dropout rates. I had no intentions of doing that. But once she enrolled me, I was like, OK, <laughs> like, I'm not going to not do it. <laughs> so then I went into the program and I figured out how I could pass. Like, I, I figured out, like, OK, these people that are quitting, why are they quitting? Like, what's what's the major reason why they're quitting? OK, whatever the reason is that people are not passing, I'm going to do the opposite. And that's what I did. But I feel like that's like most of my life. Even when I opened my own med spa, I first started doing lashes. Then I did microblading. I hated microblading. I, I'm not just no. Um, but I started doing lashes and I just jumped. I just leaped. I didn't even think I'm not I'm not into beauty. Like I'm not even the type of person that even knows how to put on makeup. But then I learned how to do lashes. So I learned how to do lashes. I started doing lashes for like, you know, friends and family and people in my basement. I was diligent. I was doing people every single day, making sure that I got better and better and better. And then within a few months, I had a full book. And a month after that, I had a shop. So I went from like not knowing how to do lashes to having a full shop within like six months to a year. Um, and then I just like kept going. And again, uh, like a lot of, I was going through a divorce at the time. A lot of my friends and family was like, that's a lot. Don't do it. Like, take your time. You're doing too much. And I just was like, I'm not going to not do it though. Like, I'm not going to quit. Like, I just, I feel like as an Aries, our competition is, is ourselves. We don't really be, I'm not thinking of nobody else. I'm thinking about myself and how I can compete with myself to be better and better. So I'm challenging myself because it's like, I'm not no nut and I'm not going to quit against myself. That's like me, me losing against myself. Like what? Nah, we not about to do that. We not about to do that. So we didn't do that. And I was basically making just as much in doing lashes than I was as a freaking nurse at the time with a baby fresh out of a divorce and was able to do everything I needed to do pay all my bills by myself so it's like yes and it's the same thing now like you know PBS called me to do this healthcare show and I'm like how how 
how everything in me was like sis say no are you tripping <laughs> like <laughs> that is not it like why would you do that <laughs> like what and guess what what guess what i said to myself but you're not going to not do it <laughs> you're not going you're not going you're not going to say no to yourself you're not going to quit on yourself so it got done and now we're on season two and i just got a raise <laughs> so it's like yeah i'm not going to not do it though like i'm not going to quit on me the last person i'm gonna quit on is me i'm my own competition so it's like i had to, i just had that epiphany this morning because i was feeling i was in a rut this morning and just not feeling like myself and i was like but you're not going to not do it. <laughs> no matter what it is, you're not going to not do it. Literally, no matter what obstacle is faced my way, I'm not going to not do it. So it's like, we're going to figure this out. And then I thought about it like, how many times have you tried to start a YouTube channel? You're not going to not do it. So I'm not going to not do it. I'm going to actually tap into that. And videos like this are going to be what's on my YouTube channel. And it's going to be lit because I'm not going to not do it. So... Matter of fact, I'm going to put these videos together and make it my first video for my YouTube channel. Actually, my YouTube channel is already up. I, po I posted little videos over the years, but never been consistent. So we about to do that. And I'm not going to quit because I'm not going to not do it. And my competition is myself. So I'm not going to not do it. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. And whenever I've stopped, like, it's, the funny thing is that I've always had a YouTube channel, even before I had my Instagram platform. And I've always posted funny videos on Instagram. And I've always been on some stuff like, oh, but this is not enough for like an influencer. This is not enough for somebody to really pop. This is not enough for, this is just not enough. You know what I mean? This is not perfect. And then I went viral and it was kind of like, oh, I guess it is enough, you know? So it's kind of like the same thing with YouTube is like, you have to start from somewhere and you have to just kind of go out on the leap and then just decide that you're not going to quit and you're going to get better and better. And I thought about it like, this is content. This is something that someone may want to listen to or view. Some of my nurse stories, some of my views on nursing, some of the things that I've been through as a nurse, as a black nurse, some of my hair journey. I cut my hair off bald. Some people don't know that. The way I do my hair, the way I parent my son, these are all things that somebody out there may relate to because I would have never thought 100,000 people would relate to my Instagram, but I'm here. So even though I don't look like it, I have ruts all the time where I just want to sleep I just want to lay in bed. I'm frustrated. I'm tired. I feel overwhelmed. Adulting has been, when I say dragging me, I mean dragging me, like hitting every step, going down the step, making sure it hit the top of your forehead type John. So every, it's, there's times when I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna just lay in bed. No, I'm not going to create content. No, I'm not going to do this. It's not enough. And then I thought to myself, like every time that you think about that, you're doing that it's healthy to like stay in, like to live in that space and understand that space. But it's also healthy to be like, but you're not going to not do it. You're not going to not do life. You're not going to not do mom and you're not going to not do your career. You're not going to not do content. So why are you not doing it? <laughs> girl get up <laughs> girl get up you are the one to do it so do it and do it well and get up and when i have these moments instead of me sitting inside and laying in bed i'm gonna just start posting it and it's gonna be helpful to someone and girl it's going to be helpful to me because you know during the pandemic during that space of loneliness when i was away from my son away from all my family and basically quarantining because i was dealing with covid patients every day my instagram and being connected to so many nurses around the country and around the world was what helped me come out of that loneliness and that depression and anxiety so why wouldn't it now my voice and my outreach and my relatability and the way that i can support somebody else is also by telling my journey and being honest and open about who i am and what it is that has me here you know that is in some ways a gift to be able to tell your story and however that may bless someone it does and for people that it don't it's not it's just not that's that's not what i was here to do so we here now so i done got myself up and got myself the yoga so i'll take a pic when i get in there because i look cute or whatever good morning y'all